Uh, this is a this is a tough one, and the emotions are high on both sides. But I've tried to do uh, what I thought was right for the people of San Antonio and what the vast majority of the people seem to want in San Antonio. Now, much of this was done before I ever went to the Senate. It was started on both sides before that time, and the fight dates back to prior to that. Uh, prior to my arriving on the Senate, some $14 million had been spent by the taxpayers of Texas and the people of San Antonio. The people of San Antonio had voted overwhelmingly for a bond issue to build this freeway, and it was widely publicized as to where this freeway would be located at the time that the bond issue was voted on. Now, when they talk about Brackenridge Park, there have been some unfortunate exaggerations concerning what happens to Brack Brackenridge Park. This is a park of some 323 acres. This freeway affects nine of those acres. It affects five acres that were not used prior to this point, and it affects three holes of their golf course, which have already been changed and have been in play now some three years. I think the people of San Antonio are as concerned about their city as any people I know. I think they're concerned about the environment. They're the people that cleaned up the San Antonio River, which was almost an open sewer. And I think it's a beautiful city. And yet these people have voted overwhelmingly for this situation. They had a, they had a uh, petition that was sectorized on this. And within six weeks, they had over 100,000 names on that petition saying they were supporting this. Now, I don't know of one elected official in the city of San Antonio who has come out against this freeway. Doesn't no that say something? No elected official ever has. Doesn't that say something? Yes, it says a great deal. Mm -hmm. I, think, uh, I think this is perhaps the point that concerns us the most, because it is a local issue. The reason that we are interested up here is that the 1966 law and the 1969 law were passed to preserve the environment Absolutely. when local controls failed, and local controls have failed in San Antonio. I do not understand how your action will not create a precedent if it is passed. Because if, it, we have stated that we have written it so it's unique in this situation for the city of San Antonio. You have not another instance that I know of in a situation like this where an agreement was made between the Secretary of Transportation and the local people that if they could not come to agreement on this one section of the road, that they could do it themselves. In addition, this was started before 4F was passed, before the piece of legislation was passed. So all of this predates. I know of no other condition existing in the United States today that's comparable to that one. Where does Judge Thornberry's uh, decision come in all this because he did rule Secretary Volpe's action irresponsible and illegal and stated that this could not be done and I, it's my understanding that that's what stopped the construction in 1971 well I don't remember the language being that strong frankly 